it, it's a good point, CL. I'm not, I, I'm, I must, I'm missing the point here, I think. My point is that we need to run the ball better so we can consistently score against a good defense on offense. By doing that, we have fewer three and outs. I'm not trying to slow the clock down. I'm not trying to slow our offense down. What's happened is our offense is getting too much credit because we're scoring so many points. In my opinion, we have problems on our offense. And those problems are running the ball. And there's going to be a day where you're not going to, we, we can't depend on Drake and those receivers to win every game. We need to be physical and we got to run the ball and we got to beat the other te defenses down like Notre Dame beat us down. And we're not doing that. And that's my concern. That hurts our defense when they're on the field too much. If we're scoring every time, I don't care. We can have a tired defense. But when you have three, three and outs in a row and your defense is back out there, then you come out and throw a touchdown pass on the first play. They've been out there a whole lot and they're worn out. And I thought that probably affected the, the five minutes before the half because we weren't on the field enough in that second quarter. Matt, you, talk, I'm sorry, got me too. you talked about recruiting a lot on Saturday night and the difference in the talent level of Notre Dame. And y'all recruit a ball on teams a lot. I mean, there's four or five stars on there. Some are a little younger. And then you mentioned there's a little disconnect between the good players, the good players, the coaches. So what is the issue why the defensive line to where it's competing with teams like Notre Dame and other good teams. Is it fundamentals? Is it development? Is it strength and conditioning? Like, what yeah. do you think the issue is why your very well recruited defense line isn't standing yeah. up? And it's been kind of four games now. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And, and you have to be careful with the word disconnect. Obviously, things aren't working <laughs> well. So whether it's disconnect, whether it, what, what we're doing is we're inconsistent. We're still sticking ahead in the wrong hole, and, we're, and, and it's amazing. Gene and I were talking about it hard last night, and nine guys do exactly what they're supposed to do, and then a guy gets his head stuck inside, and they bounce the ball outside for 15 yards. So uh, Gene will talk to you about that today, but I think that's the biggest thing. Travis Shaw came in and did a great job on Saturday, and, and he's 17 and been here, what, uh, six months. So, um, the, the, but, but we're, we are not playing well, consistently well, across the board on defense. We're just not. And, and people will beat up the offensive line when you have sacks, and it may not be their fault. People beat up the defensive line when you're giving up running yards. Linebackers had trouble Saturday, too. They really struggled. So some of it may be that your line played great at times, and your linebacker feels we're at the wrong place. The, the sack on, on – um, their, their quarterback should have been a sack on the third and eight. We had a linebacker go inside and outside. If he goes outside, we, we've contained, and it's a sack. And, and we're still playing great. Instead, he takes the wrong path, and the guy steps around it and, and has the easy first down. So, but, but Gene can explain more of that to you um, when he gets here. You mentioned consistency, though. Like, why is there not consistency not for four years and now four games? Like, that has some other issue that you thought about. Yeah, I can I can say five different things, and you're going to say they're all an excuse. So it doesn't matter. It is what it is. We got to fix it. We're looking hard to fix it. Um, am I consistent in everything in my life? And I'm 71. No. Are you? No. And these are young guys, um, but they got a lot of pride, and, and the coaches are are I'm I'm having to pick, I beat them down so much. I've got to pick them up. And I, I, you asked me what the fans should feel about our defense. We should be very unique here. And, and we've got a really powerful offense and a chance to be really good. We should take an, an, a defense that's really struggling and have a fan base that picks them up. What a concept that would be. Oh my gosh. Why don't we be positive as a fan base to help somebody that's struggling instead of our, our society being just, they're bad. They should all be fired. That, that's, the, that's the new term. Um, so, and, and it, it's complicated enough. If it was as easy as you want it to be in the answer, uh, it would already be fixed. So, and I, I don't have a, a video here to sit and say, no, he, he's too wide. 
Yeah, he came underneath that time. He's got to keep the edge because we lost our edge on defense. Everybody played great, but we didn't have an edge. They bounced outside. You got to get an edge. You got to be outside. So um, that's what I mean. It, it's complicated enough because there's an issue on every defensive play. Um, and, and because we have given, and, and Clemson gave up 45, what, Miami gave up 44, um, Wisconsin was one of the best defenses in the country, they gave up 52. Playing defense is harder than it used to be. Offenses are scoring more points. Does that an excuse for us? No. We got to be better than we are. So, so I think that's the thing. But I, I, I wish I could have a simple answer for you. It would sound like an excuse, and I'm not going to do that anymore. It needs to be fixed this week. It's better than it was in the opener already, and people wouldn't think so. We just played the best team we're going to play. And there were some good moments. We, hang, we hung in there and fought them at times. Uh, not enough. So, uh, yeah, it's getting better. And, and it's getting better every day. And I'm going to keep pulling for these kids, and I'm going to keep encouraging them and, and keep their heads up. What a, what a great teachable moment for, for these kids in their life. Things aren't good. Got to fix it. You can't lay down and quit. You can't put it off, and you can't make excuses. It is what it is. Uh, I don't get angry. I, I really don't. I get passionate. I, I get, um, I get uh, challenged. I get driven. Uh, anger doesn't do any good. That, that, that's just a waste of time, waste of energy. Um, uh, frustration. Um, I'd rather call it passion than frustration, but it's probably somewhere in between, very honestly. Um, my job is to fix it. Uh, my job is to fix the running game on the offense. My job is to fix stopping the run on defense. My job is to stop the, the explosive plays on defense. My job is to, to get so we can uh, make some differences in the special teams. My job is to recruit every player and make sure they're great and they're good kids and, and, and they make great grades and they represent us really well all the time and they knock hell out everybody every Saturday. That's my job. That's my job. And never in my 32 years as a head coach has there been something I didn't need to fix. And 50% of the coaches are standing up here today talking about things they need to fix. And really 75% because the ones that won really had a lot of bad plays. And, and it, it's like I said, Appalachians struggled and they got a Hail Mary and everything's good. Um, Arkansas is kicking a field goal to win the game with 22 seconds left. They hit the top of the upright and it goes off, so Arkansas had an awful day, and oh my gosh, A&M had a great game. No. We have to look at everything that happens during the game, win or lose. If you win, it's a whole lot easier because everybody forgets all the bad things. When you lose, everybody sits and looks at every little negative bad thing that happened. We have to do that anyway. We're, we're seeing a different level of passion from you today than we might on a regular Monday. Did you address the team a little bit differently yesterday? Did they see a little bit more passion? I think I have passion all the time. Sometimes I don't. Yeah, uh, I think we can be good, and we're not. So I want them, I want them to understand that. And Saturday we played a team that was better than we were, on the day we played, and they fought. And I've told them as long as you fight and you compete, we got a chance, man. Don't give up. Don't get your head down. I didn't like what I saw at South Carolina last year. I didn't think we fought, but that, that's, I, I'm not going to have that happen again. I want this team to keep competing and this team to keep fighting. And that's what I told them. I told them that after the game. Are we messing a bunch of stuff up? Yes. Can we fix it? Only if you keep busting your tail, man. You, I'm, I'm going to give you all I've got. I want you to give us all you've got. Give me, a, give me all you've got. Give me 100% and we'll be good. We'll be fine in time. But we've got to fix things. You mentioned the 